So we finally have an update on the audio and this is a pretty big one. But this update is still in beta and a lot of the features are still being developed. But let me just overview it really quickly. So you have the new audio API which basically allows you to manipulate and customize the audio inside of the studio engine. And let's just take this example right here for instance. So you have the audio player and this audio player is connected to the audio emitters that are the speakers and also the audio analyzer right here. And I will be showing how to set it up later, as well as overview the instances that were added from, I believe, right here. But basically just think of the whole system as having like an audio card that you connect everything to through wires. You can stream a single sound to many different locations. You can also alter the player voices and I will make a separate tutorial for using the audio API with the voice chats as well as the mentioned walkie talkie in here. And how they give you control over the whole system. You basically just manage everything through instances. Some of the instances are producing the audio, some are consuming the audio and some do both. And the wires instance connect everything together. And there was also a demo place right here, which I will also be overviewing. But let's go into studio for now. And to enable this feature, you have to go into the studio, beta features, and then you scroll down to the audio API, then just save it and restart studio. And just to simplify everything for the system, how you can build everything with the new audio API, this is going to basically be the whole structure. You need the player, you need the listener, and then you need the speaker. The player is the sound card that's going to play the audio, the speaker is going to be something that's gonna emit the audio, and the listener is going to be something that's gonna listen to the audio. So let's start off by adding the new instances. And the player needs an audio player, then the speaker needs an audio emitter, and here you can also see that some of the instances, some of them have blue icons. And what a blue icon means is that the instance, if it has a blue icon, it needs to be parented to an object that's rendered in the 3D world. So the audio instances with white icons, they can just be parented wherever like a folder. But let's move on. So we have the player and the speaker, and now let's also add a listener. And the listener instance is the audio listener. Okay, so now we have these three and we need to connect them, and we do so by wires. I'm going to add a wire into the folder and I will name this one player to emitter where the source instance is going to be the audio player and the target instance is going to be the emitter. So just imagine that this was the speaker that was connected to the sound card with a cable. Right, and then you have the listener. Nothing needs to be connected to the listener but the listener itself has to be connected to something that will allow us to hear the audio, or rather render the audio and not hear it. So we need to add another instance, which is going to be the output, this audio device output. And now we need to connect the listener to the audio device output with another wire. And I will name this wire listener into output. Select the source instance as the audio listener and the target as the device output. And right now we need an audio to play and everything in my inventory is just a horror ambience or whatever. So I am just going to select this one. And I am going to copy the asset ID, move this one back and then just in the audio listener, in the asset tab, there is the asset ID property. And this is where we need to put the asset ID. And right now after I just put the numbers, this is ready property and time length didn't update. And that is because I need to put the RBX asset ID instead. And whenever it updates, that means it's loaded correctly. So now the audio player is going to have the audio. And this listener is going to listen to the audio coming from the speaker right here. And then it's going to output the audio to the basically audio device output, which is currently set to my headphones. And let's also add a script inside of the audio player. And this will just be the play script. So I can do script that parent and then play. Since to play an audio from the audio player, we need to use the play method. And I didn't set it to looping, so let me fix that very quickly. I'm just going to change the looping property. But basically I'm going to do a run test again. And you can see how it's a bit in the left ear. And that is because this part is the listener. And this part being the listener means that I can move it around. And if I move it on top of the part, you can basically just hear how the audio changes. And if I move it a bit out, it's going to fade away. And now it's going to be in the right ear. So 
right? I can just move it around and you can hear the audio changing. And that's how you need to set the structure for the new audio API. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to implement this. So instead of this part being a listener, the player is going to be the listener instead. And normally the point where you hear the audio from is the point of your camera. If I moved my camera, let's say, closer to the part that was playing the audio, I would hear it clearer. And if I moved it away, the audio would fade away. So I need to put the audio listener to the camera. And this audio listener needs to be parented to the camera instead of the part. And like I said previously, the instances that don't have the blue icon, they don't need to be parented to instances that are rendered in the 3D world. And the camera is rendered in the 3D world, that's why it has the listener. So I can move the device output right here and, and put the wire to the audio device output for just organization. And now if I do a run test, instead of this part being the listener, it's going to be my camera. So if I move my camera closer to the part, you can hear the audio change. And for the player to be able to listen to the audio, I can just add a script inside of the starter player scripts, and I just create these three instances. And I'm also going to get the camera. And then I'm going to connect everything through the wire and the wire has the source instance and the target instance. And since this is the studio instance camera, or the server's camera, it being here is not going to affect how the player hears the audio in the 3D world. So if I do a playtest and go to the camera, you can see that the player has the audio listener inside of the camera right here. And if I move closer to the part, I'm going to be able to hear the audio. So that's how you can implement this for a player. And before I jump to the demo place, I'm going to just overview the instances that were added right here. So for the audio analyzer, I'm going to have to open the demo place later, but basically it's just something that measures the audio streams. It only has one input pin and its main method is the get spectrum. And the spectrum is the frequency spectrum of the lost audio buffer as an array of numbers, where the elements are RMSs with different volume levels on a different frequency. And it's also shown in the demo place. And the chorus and the compressor, these are audio effects. The chorus makes the audio stream sound more voluminous. You have depth, mix and rate. The compressor basically just compresses the audio. The device input is something for the microphone to detect whenever you are talking or not. And this can be used to, let's say, add these effects that I just talked about to the voice chat. And I want to do a separate tutorial on this because you can do a lot with the device input. And by a lot, I mean really a lot. This is the output instance, and this is the distortion, which is another effect. And same with the echo. The emitter is the speaker. The equalizer is another effect that adjusts the frequency content of audio streams. And it's based on three frequency bounds. Then the fader, flanger are another effect. Fader, I believe, just adjusts the volume, and the flanger I am not exactly sure. So it imparts a whooshing or sweeping sound on audio stream by overlating the delayed copy of the input stream and modulating the pitch of the copy. That's interesting. But yeah, it's just another effect. Then there is the audio listener, pitch shifter, which is another effect, the player, and the reverb, which is also another effect. Okay, I need to drink something really quickly. As usual, remember to stay hydrated, guys. And since the rest of this dev forum post is basically telling you how you can set it up and also showcasing it, you can even have multiple audio emitters or multiple speakers that are playing the same audio. But what I want to do is basically tell you how you can use these effects. So let's go back to this structure right here and let's just add one of the instances. So for example, I'm going to pick the audio fader. So I'm going to add the fader into the player and then I'm going to add another wire. And now this player into emitter needs to be changed the target instance needs to be the fader and I'm going to rename this one to player to fader and then this wire needs to be the fader 
to emitter. So the source is going to be the fader and the target is going to be the emitter. And with this audio fader, we can make the audio louder. So I'm going to change it to like 4, or apparently 3 is the maximum. But I'm just going to play it right now. And you can hear that the audio is a bit louder than previously. And I can also adjust the volume right here at runtime. Yeah, apparently you can even go outside of this range, so 3 is going to be the maximum. But that's how you can use these different effects with the audio player too. And I am just going to load the audio API place right now and just do a playtest to showcase everything. So you basically just have this speaker right here and you can enable the audio player by just pressing on the button. And it's going to play this audio. And I don't think that you can adjust the role of minimum and maximum distance in the audio player yet. Because this feature, like I said, is still in beta and is still being developed. And this is the analyzer that I wanted to show. So basically with the spectrum, what you can do is have this... Or never mind, it's not even working. What a great demo place. There aren't even any errors in the output. <laughs> but basically what you should be doing, it should be showing you like a different levels of different frequencies. It should basically just be visualized right here. Maybe it's somewhere in the videos right here. Okay, they are just showing the inward listener example where the listener is listening to the audio coming from this speaker and is playing the same audio on that speaker right there. And there is also this, which is the walkie-talkies, I'm pretty sure. And just to not bore anyone, I'm going to just skip to the showcase. Handheld radios has its own audio listener and audio emitter with a couple of effects in between to make it sound like my voice is coming from a little radio. Now I don't have anyone to test the walkie-talkies right now with, but you can basically just get the models from here. You can see how they are set up with the audio emitters, listeners, and also different effects. But I just basically want to do a tutorial on this, showing how things like this are made from scratch. But there are also these different effects that you can play right here. I hope these ones are going to work. So I have the pitch shift, then the reverb, the equalizer and the distortion okay that's a bit loud <laughs> but anyway but yeah sadly i couldn't show the audio analyzer because i don't know why the place is broken but i'm sure other people already done videos on these too but that is basically going to be everything for today like i said this is a huge update and it's still in beta but i'm really looking forward to using something like this in the future because we are finally able to get something like this and you can do a lot of creative stuff with this but anyways if you found this tutorial informative then please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel but that's going to be everything for today so thank you guys for watching and see ya